Hey guys, Antonio here with a video on how to change your subconscious mind beliefs. This should go along with my blog post. I'm going to leave a link in the description below for to, uh, to to sorry to head over to my blog post. Or if you're looking at this on my blog post, guys, check it out. This will help you understand things a little bit more. So let's get right into it. Um, I give a couple tips on how or why the subconscious mind gets affected in certain ways. Check it out in the blog post. But for visualization, let's get into the actual technique. Sorry, visualization. So this is something you want to do 15 minutes every morning and night, at least, and as many times as you possibly can throughout the day. You want to think exactly about what you want to the smallest detail. And you want as many emotions as you possibly can um, to, to have that. So let's, let's do a quick example, guys. I want you to sit down in a comfortable position. Um, Take very deep breaths in and out, okay? Close your eyes after a couple of breaths. Feel the feeling of being fully relaxed, right? And now, still with your eyes closed, what you want to see in front of you is a warm, fresh, pie of pizza that just came out of the oven, right? Imagine that smell that comes straight to your nose. The smell of the delicious cheese, the sauce, the oil, the dough that was all made to put together perfectly for your slice of pizza. And now you're cutting your own slice and seeing the cheese ooze off onto the sides and how hungry you are. Feel how hungry you are and ready to put that slice in your mouth. Take that slice now, put it in your mouth, and taste how awesome the cheese, the sauce, the oil, the, the basil, and the dough all taste together to make a wonderfully fresh slice of pizza. Fully immerse yourself in this experience. Realize how awesome this slice is. Feel how grateful you are to have this wonderful pizza in front of you. Realize that you're gonna have a wonderful day now because of this awesome slice of pizza. Okay, snap back to reality, guys. That pizza was fake. But the whole point of that exercise was to make you think that what you were doing was real. The subconscious mind cannot tell the difference between something that is fake and is real, right? So if you imagine something so clearly that it is real, then it is real to the subconscious mind. When the mind, when the subconscious mind believes in something so much that it, it believes it's real, it will go out of its way to make you work to get that thing. Right, so for instance, think of yourself as a, 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 a mini god in, in a sort where you have the power to create whatever you want. If you think about it so clearly in your mind first and then it comes out in person. You need to see it, you need to feel it so clearly. Feel those emotions, right? One of uh, one goal, that another example, right, would be if you have been struggling to lose a lot of weight and you need to imagine yourself sitting there with the very low body fat percentage that you want, how confident you are. Maybe you see yourself walking on the beach without your shirt on and people checking you out all around. And you being able to be healthy for your family and for your future generations to stay alive a lot longer now that you lost all of this excess weight. Absorb yourself in the feelings that come along with it, the confidence, the power, the, um, the excitement, everything behind it. When you attach those emotions behind the image, it burns it into your mind so much better and builds that desire within you to work so much harder, right? The, the 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 mistake here is that you can't people think that oh if i think something it'll it'll like come true no you need to think it and the thinking helps you act when the acting helps you get the thing you want but if you don't change the way you think then you can't change the way you act without changing the way you act you don't change the way you get somewhere right there's this triangle that i triangle i want to talk to you about there's actions um desire 
and faith, right? So you have this desire to do something, right? That causes you to take an action. When you take that action and you see the results, it causes faith. That faith then in your ability to get it done as your desire. You build the desire first. That causes you to take the action and that action causes you to build more faith. And that is the triangle that comes along here when helps with helping with visualization. So let's move on to the next one, incantations. I got this idea from Tony Robbins, motivational speaker. You should probably know about him if you're watching my channel. If not, you should head over and watch his stuff right now. Great, great guy, love everything he does. So I used to say affirmations over and over and over again, like, um, you know, examples of them would be, I have full confidence in myself. I have full confidence in myself. I have full confidence in myself. And the subconscious mind does get used to repetition, but it takes very long, very long for it to get used to repetition, you say, versus repetition with emotion behind it. So what you need to do is, is do incantations. And what it is, is when you give something your all as you're saying it, I have full self-confidence in myself. You say it with a feeling, and as you're saying it, you imagine yourself having full self-confidence, right? Saying something like that over and over again and imprinting in your subconscious mind with the emotions behind it, that is what builds the subconscious mind to believe in the thing you want to believe. So um, you can watch more of Tony Robbins stuff for more information on incantations, but that is the basic gist of it. And the last one is environment. Right, you have your real environment, which is the people around you, and then you have your digital environment, which is like your phone, your laptop, and things that you can create to protect to be around you, right? So things I have in my environment are my vision board with pictures of people, of, of goals that I want to achieve, of people that embody characteristics that I want to embody, and stuff like that. Then I have things like my phone background, something I look at all the time to burn that image in my mind. Um, then I have things like, um, what do we call it? YouTube videos and podcasts. You should be listening to my YouTube videos over and over and over and over again, guys. See what I did there? But no, seriously, if I keep giving you all this information that'll benefit your mind, your mind will start listening to it so much more and more and more, right? It'll pick up on all of these things subconsciously if you keep repeating that stuff in the background. When you're doing mundane tasks around the house, watch a YouTube video. When you're doing a mund uh, when you're driving, listen to an audiobook or a podcast, something that will benefit your mind, not wasted time. But that stuff will slowly build up your mind and compile over time. And with the combination of all three of these things, your subconscious mind will change to whatever you want it to be, guys. Hope you enjoyed today's video. Please leave me a thumbs up, share my blog post, and guys, remember that a chapter a day allows for success to make way. Have a great day.